Good morning, students. This is your uh, sixth semester subject paper, Advanced Construction Techniques and Equipments. In that subject, there is a topic of advanced construction material, and in that topic, we will discuss today the fiber as construction material. So, fiber is used nowadays in various construction purposes and it is like advanced construction material. So the general uses what we will discuss today, the, the general uses of fibers, types of fibers we are using in construction purposes, uses of different fibers in industry, construction industry and properties. So fiber as construction material, fiber or fibers is a class of material which are having continuous filament or having discrete elongated pieces similar to the length of thread. Fibers are very important in the biology of plants and animals for holding tissue together. They are often used in the manufacture of other materials. So it is a filament, continuous filament type structure which is we are using fibers can be spawned into filaments or strings or rope which can be used as a component or composite material or matted into seeds so as to make the products like paper So fibers as construction material, fibers may be organic, may be inorganic, may be natural or synthetic. Synthetic fibers can be produced very cheaply and in a very large amount which can be used in our construction industry. Burlap uh, as you see in this uh, figure, burlap is a Zoot, zoot composite zoot is a coarse zoot or hemp which is a natural fiber. Hessian is a zoot fabric, silk, cotton are natural fibers. <coughs> then other uh, fibers we are using glass wool, lead wool and asbestos are mineral fibers of which glass wool, uh, wool and lead wool are synthetic fibers. Steel fiber, carbon fiber and glass fiber are the new and recent trends in the construction industry. So you can see this is a glass wool, yeah. asbestos, this is your asbestos fiber. So general uses of fiber. General uses of fiber, fibers are used for packing, making fabrics and felts. Glass wool made of, of very fine fibers of glass is used for making acid proof, fire proof fabrics. Glass wool is a, also used as a packing material for heat, sound, electric insulation. It is commonly used in a solar water system. Lead wool prepared from fine fibers of lead is used in water pipe joints to stop leakages of water. Natural jute fibers are extensively used for plumbing work to stop leakage of water. 
you can see there this is fiber glass and carbon fiber some figures are there so types of fibers we are using in industry steel fiber carbon fiber glass fiber we can see this is a steel fiber hmm. these uh, wire like thing what we are uh, zooming here is the steel fiber steel fiber steel fibers are made up of cold drawn steel wires simple steel wires used with low content of carbon or stainless steel wire they are manufactured in various types of uh, such as hooks uh, hooked steel fiber undulated or flat steel fibers according to the need we required in our project construction project these fibers are used in the construction of concrete reinforcement steel fibers reinforced concrete is less expensive than hand tied rebar shaped dimensions length of fiber are made more important because it increases the tensile strength of concrete so we are using nowadays very frequently the steel fiber to make the concrete more strong in tension and it is less less cost also uh, as compared to steel bars we are using steel reinforcement we are using in concrete it is cheaper and lighter also steel fibers can only be used on surface so as to avoid corrosion and rust strains fiber reinforced normal concrete is mostly used for on ground floors and pavements and also used for construction parts such as beams pillars foundations etc <coughs> properties steel fiber properties are it increases the tensile strength of concrete concrete obviously steel is very strong in tension it is more tough and hard they are um, uh, it uh, used for to avoid corrosion rust stains they are more elastic in nature steel fibers available with different uh, standards as astm 820 by 96 astm c 1116 by 95 and din 1045 it has a tensile strength of 1.1 1 newton per millimeter square they are available in the different types like flat as we, we have discussed already flat hooked and undulated <coughs> so so steel fibers are highly used in uh, tunnel lining work the applications of steel fiber what we are seeing tunnel lining work the steel fibers are more frequently used it is mostly used in the construction of airport runways highway pavements etc most commonly used in precast concrete so as to increase the tensile strength of precast concrete they are used in short crit used in the construction of parking area it is used in anti seismic buildings carbon fibers carbon fibers nowadays uh, is a recent trend in the construction industry carbon fiber materials consists consisting of extremely thin fibers uh, like uh, written 0.005 mm to 0.01 mm in diameter mostly composed of carbon atoms carbon fiber is alternatively called graphite fiber as we say the carbon atoms are bonded together in microscopic crystals which are more or less aligned parallel to the long axis of the fiber the crystal alignment makes size of fiber more strong number of carbon fibers are twisted together like here we see there are uh, number of carbon fibers twisted in a com combined form together so as to form a yarn which uh, can be used as the exist or woven into a fabric so we are using different carbon fibers number of carbon fibers to make it as a fabric and the fabric is having more strength <coughs> carbon fibers it can be combined with a plastic resin also and uh, can be wound or molded to form different composite materials like carbon fiber and forced plastic to provide high strength to weight ratio high strength to weight ratio of the materials the atomic structure of carbon 
fiber is similar to that of graphite consisting of sheets of carbon atoms arranged in a regular hexagonal pattern carbon fiber shows the number of properties very close to the properties of asbestos so properties of carbon fiber as we are seeing here it is first of all having very high tensile strength low weight low thermal expansion they are rigid materials which are resistant to stretching and compression it is chemically inert and uh, unreactive material they are resistant to corrosion fibers contained about 85% carbon has excellent flexural strength where we are using carbon fiber the application side carbon fiber is mostly used in reinforced composite material reinforced carbon carbon is called rcc also consists of carbon fiber and forced graphite and is used structurally in high temperature applications it is another uh, very good property where high temperature properties are there we can use this carbon fiber rcc it, it increases the tensile as well as compressive strength of the concrete both in both way it, it, it helps the concrete it can uh, enhance the compressive strength as well including the tensile strength of concrete mm -hmm. high tensile strength low weight low thermal expansion it makes the carbon fiber very popular in aerospace military motor sports along with other competition sports carbon fiber is extremely used in the bicycle industry especially for high performance racing bikes it is also used in some tennis rackets to make it lighter and stronger it is now being used in musical instruments for its uh, weather res uh, resilience ability and ability to recreate the tone of the guitar it is uh, recreating the tone of the musical instrument then uh, as we see glass fibers <coughs> glass fibers you see here are the construction fiber glass cloth protects plaster surface from the cracks as we see here it is also called the fib as fiber glass glass fibers or fiber glass glass fiber is the material made up of extremely fine fibers of glass it was invented in uh, 1938 by russell games later in 1893 uh, edward Drummond Libe exhibited a dress at the World's Columbian Exposition incorporating glass fibers with the diameter and structure of silk fibers this was the first worn by the well known and popular stage actress of the time Georgia Kevin uh, uh, they are two main types of there are two main types of glass fibers manufacturing uh, and two main types of glass fiber product first fiber is the made up of either from a direct melt process or marble remelt process both start with the raw material in solid form it is almost and always mode of platinum alloy with rhodium for better durability platinum is used because the glass melt has a natural affinity for wetting it the fresh and thin fibers are more strong because the uh, thinner fibers are more ductile properties of glass fibers <clears throat> it has high ratio of surface area to weight first they have good thermal insulation as glass fibers it has a good tensile strength but has no strength against compression compressive strength is weak but can be increased by reinforcing it yeah reinforcing it with plastic when the glass fiber is reinforced with plastic then the reinforced material can resist both compressive as well as tensile force okay it ha it is resistant to chemical attack however if its surface area is increased then it makes them more susceptible to chemical attacks more susceptible to, it, it can be eroded they are corrosion 
resistant also application area application side of uh, glass fiber is uh, corrugated glass uh, fiberglass plate panels uh, as you see covering the roof widely used for outdoor canopy and greenhouse construction it is used as a reinforcing agent for many polymer products like frp grp which uses tops pipes for drinking water and sewers office plant containers and flat roof system etc in decoration purposes also can used it is reinforced with plastic materials <clears throat> so as to increase tensile strength uses of re regular fiberglass are mats insulation uh, reinforcement sound absorption heat resistant fabrics corrosion resistant fabrics high strength fabrics uh, roof sheets etc glass fiber reinforced plastics are used in the house building market for the production of roofing laminate door surrounds over over the do door canopies windows canopies drummers chimneys coping system as you see heads with keystone and steel etc they reinforced glass fiber with polymer and plastic is commonly used in fire water systems cooling water systems drinking water systems sewage systems waste water systems and gas systems etc so this is all about the fiber as construction material uh, as we are using in our construction industry as a advanced construction material thank you so much uh, for li listening thank you so much